Johnny, you mentioned you're from Cleveland. Gosh, so many wrestlers are from Ohio. It's amazing. Is it something in the water? I don't is know. it the Mr. Hero sub shop? What is it? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I think Ohio just makes a certain type of person. Like we're used to adversity. We're used to being told that we're not going to do something and proving people wrong. Uh, but yeah, like you mentioned, a lot of people are from Ohio. I mean, you got the Miz, of course, she's Mr. Mr. Hero. Uh, my dad knows the Miz's dad. Uh, I think my dad's restaurant is like a street down from the Miz's dad's restaurant. Okay, are they rival restaurants? No. What is your dad's no, restaurant? My dad is a, like an Italian restaurant. It's like more so a catering company now, but also like pizza and things like that. Like you can't tell from the name Johnny Gargano, I am Italian. Uh, that's shocker for everyone. I know like the internet's gonna go nuts here. You're not German Irish? No, believe it or not, just Italian and a little bit of Polish on my mom's side. The ski is kind of, I, I don't really acknowledge that one though. All good food though, I'll tell you that. Great do, food. Do you want to give food. a shout out? I told to you, you I was chubby when I was growing up because I grew up at my dad's restaurant. <laughs> I ate cheese ravioli every day. You know how many calories are in cheese ravioli? I know now, <laughs> way too many. <laughs> Do you want to give a shout out to the catering business? Sure. Because My dad's catering company, Gargano's Catering. Uh, he'll love this plug. I'm sure I'll send him this link and be like, look, dad, I'm talking about your catering company. Uh, so dad, there you go. I gave you a shout out on like, I, I, I earned my Christmas present this year, I think, now <laughs> this. Uh, but it's funny, like, because I, I'm going to say this, but my parents are going to see this before I do even. They, they search and they know things about me that I don't even know. Like, they're like, did you know this person? This little kid asked for your haircut, and I'm like, what the heck are you looking at? I don't, like, sweet mom. Uh, <laughs> they're, all, they're all trolling to, they, they, they're to on see top. what's going on. But my, on my dad that. doesn't know how to use the internet at all, which is shocking to me. Like, he has no clue about anything. Uh, so, I mean, but he'll Well, this is this amazing. Like, he's learning. He's, he's learning, learning as he's trying to follow the wrestler. John he doesn't Gergano. even know how to text yet, so that's where my dad's at right now. Sometimes, like, so he just learned the text, the, the talk to text feature, uh, and I'll just get uh, text like text messages from him saying my name, Johnny, because he's saying like text Johnny, but it's just texting Johnny. Like, he's just saying John. It says that Johnny. I'm like, <laughs> and I, I get a text from my mom saying your dad just learned to talk in text feature. We're like, and my mom texts like a million emoticons. So I was like, your dad just learned to talk in text feature. Winky face, smiley face, tongue, heart, baseball. Like, so that's that's what I'm dealing with in my life. That's awesome. But I love them. They're great. That's awesome. And they're very supportive, <laughs> they're obviously. Awesome. They're, they're, they're I so wouldn't supportive. be here without them. I've literally, figuratively and literally, I would not be here without them. Has your dad, is he a bigger fan as George Mazan and the Mrs. Dad, Mr. Hero? Uh, I, I, there is a picture of me hanging up in my dad's restaurant. Uh, so I, he is a, he is a big fan. He's a big supporter. Uh, yes, I'll say I'll say yes. Uh, but he's not in the front row like his dad. Maybe one day, one day you never know. And did, and have you ever been to a Mr. Hero? I've been to a Mr. Hero. Their waffle fries are amazing. Uh, so yes, I have been to a Mr. Hero. I don't frequent it as much anymore, being in Orlando because there aren't them. But yes, I have been to a Mr. Hero before. And have you met George? I have not. I have not met him. And me and Miz have never talked about that either. So like, I don't think we, like he knows that our dads know each other. I don't think we've discussed that at all, but uh, yeah. Always something with Ohio, something. Ohio bond. Yep. So there you go. Ohio boys, yeah. Well, also Ohio, specifically us Clevelanders stick together, so. Yeah, and, and again, so many, even like with Ohio, Alexa Bliss, Dana yep. Brooke, you mentioned Dolph Ziggler, uh, EC3, now yep. the organization, but there's just so many. and. And of course, Al Snow. Al Snow, Lima, <laughs> Lima, Ohio. There it is. So there's so many from there. Now, being that you're from Cleveland, the Indians playoff started. Yes. Last year they were so close, one game away. Have you been following the playoffs? Yes. So far, what do you I think actually of Cleveland? have a stream on. I have a stream of the game going on right on my phone right now. Uh, yes, I am a big Cleveland Indians fan. I'm a big Cleveland Browns fan. I'm a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan. I'm a Cleveland fan in general. Uh, the Indians, like, it was heartbreaking last year. But three to one, right? They were up three to one. Yes, we were up three to one. But also, the Warriors were up three to one. That's when true. The Cavs came when back. the Cavs came so, back. So like, I was like, ah, come on. I kind of know how this story is going to go. That's interesting because it was like, it was almost it's like, reversed. hey, you, yeah. exactly, you got your win down yes, three to one yes. now. Well. And to be fair, if any team was to beat us, the Chicago Cubs, I'm, I, I know what their fans have been through. I get it. We got a championship in basketball. I'll give them that one. But this year, if we play the Cubs again, no, no. <laughs> All bets are off. All bets are off. It's the Indians' year this year. 
Windy, it's baby. <laughs> there you go. And the last part of the sports one is D Wade. Dwayne Wade, yeah. he's huge. We're yeah. in Miami. We're in Miami, we are actually. In Miami. Yeah. So D -Wade I used to hate this place because, you know, you took my guy. <laughs> That's right. LeBron was here in Wade County. <laughs> yeah, and freaking, you took my guy. Like, it literally broke my heart. But now we're good because LeBron's back, and now we got Dwayne Wade. Exactly. So now you got our you guy. Got, yeah, but, but I mean, we got your guy in a little different era. But, but hopefully, your guy can help us win another championship. I feel feel real good about our squad. Kyrie Irving broke my heart, uh, but you know I feel good about our squad this year. I think LeBron. You can't you can't count out LeBron. He's I think for my like for everyone's money, the one the best player in the world, maybe one of the best players of all, the best player of all time. And smart, yeah, I mean, a coach smart. on the court for gosh, insanely sakes. smart, and especially as vindictive as he is, I mean, he's a competitor, man. He's gonna come back and he's gonna bring something special this season. All right, Johnny Gargano, thank you so much. We've got NXT in West Palm Beach Saturday, October fourteenth at the Palm Beach County Convention Center. Hey, get yourself a shirt Get too. a shirt, no be on sale outside, they'll be, they'll be hanging up, grab one, grab two, grab three. Your friends will love them, trust me. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, buddy.